Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Mioni. Today we're looking at another Mog Station or Cash Shop update for Final Fantasy XIV and it is the 27th of March 2023. This morning, new items got added to the optional Cash Shop store, additionally with some previous event items from the last year's Hatching Tide event. As we go onto the website, you'll see there's two new outfits as well as a selection of previous year's items you'll notice that there's the authentic exemplary basket hatching tide mobile egg barding paramour barding then we also have the eat egg emote from last year as well as the hatching bunny minion um, as i said last year uh, these were going to be here for real money and here they are and of course we have the brand new outfit which is not gender locked however there are two versions of that depending on what you'd rather have this is the edikens attire we'll look at that in the game in just a moment but the differences as you can clearly see is that there's a three piece for the skirt version which as you can see can be used both male and female and the other version is the slacks version which is a four piece again those are the brief previews they give, but we'll have a look at that in just a second. So in terms of prices then, that's the prices in the United Kingdom. In dollars, uh, the outfit is 18 US dollars, the minion is $5, and the emote is $2, as you can see. Uh, in euros, that works out at 13 euros 50 cents for the outfit, 3 euros 50 for the minion, and 140 for the emote. And uh, we might as well look at yen as well. 1980 yen and 550 yen for the minion 220 for the eat egg emote let's hop into the game and have a look at these new outfits then all right here we are in the game of course on our character here our makote uh, we're going to have a look at this particular outfit uh, both of the outfits because they're separate outfits and then we're going to look at some dyes straight away so first of all you'll notice that the male attire has a hat and the female quote unquote attire or the skirt attire as we should call it because they've taken those labels off um, does not come with a hat so this is what the hat looks like with the let's 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 just go and call it the male attire just for the the sake of it but of course this is the uh the slacks attire um, obviously this is based on a uniform that I'm in aware of I'm not gonna <laughs> ruin my my reputation further like I usually do by trying to say this looks like this when in reality that's uh, quite an unfair thing to say so we're not gonna go down that route but yeah it's very cool looking it does certainly look like a uniform of some description I again culturally I have absolutely no idea it's very nice though I do like the buttons on the front. Um, yeah, I like the polished shoes. The slacks are nice. We have quite similar trousers in the game already and similar-ish shoes. And I would say the cap is nothing too special. Uh, it's quite dark. Uh, this is in natural light. Of course, we're in the Grand Cosmos on Explorer mode. So this is natural daylight at its, uh, pretty much its highest in the day. So you would, uh, you would think but it would be a little bit easier to see in this lighting. Uh, let's use G-Pose to zoom in a little bit then on this detailing. So of course, we have a logo on the side of our character. I don't know if you can replace this with your Grand Company sigil. I haven't tested, unfortunately, but I don't believe you can. It's just upholstery. The buttons themselves are really quite nice, aren't they? Quite, quite nice detailing on there. There's not a lot of pixelation up close to this. This is really high resolution. Look at how re high resolution this actually is. This is maximum zoom, by the way. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I do like the detailing on the buttons as well, though. Um, yeah, just really nice, isn't it? Really, really nice. And then, of course, the same with the cap as well. I'm not sure why the male version comes with the cap or the slacks version only comes with the cap. It does mean if you do want to get this cap, and you wanted to buy the uh, the skirt attire, you would have to buy this one as well. But at least they're not gender locked, right? That's the, the main thing about this. So let's briefly look at the other attire then. Uh, whilst we're here, we're going to have to swap that out directly. Okay, so this is the sailor top, the sailor skirt, and the Edikens loafers. 
This is what the uh, the skirt attire looks like, because of course it doesn't come with the hat, so we're not going to show that uh, at the moment. But yeah, fairly basic. Um, this really is quite familiar. I've seen this in at least a couple of anime, I think, now I look at it. It's quite nice, isn't it? I do like the skirt. Um, I am a big fan of, of a long, sort of knee-high skirt. Uh, it does add a lot of options, and this has got a nice texture to it, almost like a velvet or velveteen sort of texture to it. And I do like the tights attached to it as well, so that's another bonus. If we use G-Pose then and zoom into this and look at the detailing, we've got this, uh, obviously, this front ribbon. We've got the same detailing on the side with these, like, twin eagles, I think that is. And then we've got um, the long skirt. And the further down we go, we've got the tights, which are attached to that skirt, I believe. I think, right? Or are they, are they attached to the leggings? No, they're attached. Oh, I see what they've done. So what they've done is they've taken the boots and then added a small section of the tights. Like, as if it was like uh, socks. And then they've made it so that the... Uh, the skirt fills the rest of that gap. That's clever. That's really quite seamless as well, isn't it? It just looks like a pair of tights that goes all the way up. So those are attached to the legs. Without those on then, without the shoes on, does that mean that the, <laughs> that the tights kind of end? Yes, it does. I see. Interesting. Interesting. Well, that's fine, because there's lots of boots that go this high anyway, like thigh highs and just above ankle highs. That's quite nice, isn't it? Quite nice. But yeah, I think the meat and potatoes of this is going to be in comparing the uh, the colours side by side. So we're going to hire the use of my <laughs> wonderful girlfriend, uh, who's going to stand next to me in just a moment, and uh, we'll do a side by side comparison of the dyes uh, front on of both the skirt and the slacks version of these uh, these outfits. Unsurprisingly, with the Edekan set then, that uh, Viera and Rothgar have not been thought about, so the cap uh, included in the outfit will not work on, uh, yeah, either Viera or Rothgar, regardless of the gender. I really wish um, this wasn't the case, because this is a brand new outfit. You know, this, this hasn't been created before the release of these two races it, it just doesn't bode well for the future especially considering we still have female Rothgar to add I have high hopes that they fix this in 7.0 but um, at the same time yeah it's a little bit disappointing isn't it sorry to Rothgar and Vieira players you unfortunately have been left out once again when it comes to looking at the dyes, then you'll notice that a good range of these are quite solid dyes. Uh, the only difference you will find is that the tights, which are part of the legs, and of course the upper socks, which turn into tights when the boots and the uh, the pants are together on uh, on the uh, the skirt attire, uh, do actually have a much darker tone to them, which is how tights would work if you were to dye them anyway because of the texture change. But uh, yeah, that's the only thing to sort of pay attention to is they do actually change color but they're always a much darker color same with the ribbon on obviously the front of the character there and uh, parts of the hat on the slacks attire but i think honestly side by side i think the slacks attire dies better just simply because there are less different colors uh, there again it would be nice if one day we had access to a palette system for dyes but uh, I moan about that pretty much every time there's an outfit video coming out. So there we go. All in all, I do think that the outfits are cool. Um, they're not personally something I would go out and 100% recommend, especially considering that Vieira and Rothgar have been left out of the hat department once again. However, it is cool if you want to have a period look or you want to look specifically like this. Again, I don't really know how to draw any conclusions on comparisons because I do not know culturally where this is based from. So I'm sure people in the comment section will help me with that and tell me where this is based from. But it does look cool, doesn't it? I do like it. Kind of gives me that sort of almost like um, on the Slacks version, somebody who would be in charge of, of a, a lot of people or something. I have no idea. Or maybe it's a school outfit. I'm not sure. But anyway. Much love. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know what you think about these outfits, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.